Hey, what is up, Slime Pack Pack Nation? Listen, today I feel good. It feels good outside. I smell good. I feel like I look good. Um, I woke up in a great mood. I didn't edit all my videos for this week. I'm not sure whenever I'm gonna put this video out, but at the time that I'm recording this video, today is April the 8th. So happy solar eclipse day, if that's what we want to call it. Currently, right now, it is it is 12 26 p.m. that I'm recording this video and it is <clears throat> 72 degrees here in Fayetteville, North Carolina. And let me go right here. As y'all can see, it is April the 8th and the solar eclipse is supposed to happen sometime. I'm not sure if we're going to see it, but I do remember seeing it back in 2017. I had no idea what it was or what was going on. I don't even think my... I think they knew, but it wasn't a big deal here. And even now, it's not a big deal here. But to other people, it's a big deal. So if you're watching this video, happy solar eclipse day. But that's not what this video is about, y'all. I woke up in a good mood. I was like, ah, I feel like recording some content. And I um, said, so I'm going to come to the truck and put on my trucker's uniform because we're getting ready to go record some trucking content not necessarily in the truck but it's going to be revolving around trucks and helping some truckers who don't know but uh the loves in dunn north carolina just opened like i think a week and a half or two weeks ago and we're gonna check that out if y'all familiar about dunn north carolina y'all know the truck stops around that area is trash now i got my cdl at the roadmaster in dunn north carolina and while we was training, we would truck stop hop to about every truck stop around the area. And all the truck stops is trash. So in this video, we're going to go check out that new loves, you know, and I'm going to give y'all a little review on that. And also the sheets that's currently here in Fayetteville, North Carolina, not too far from where I'm at. So we're about to head to the sheets first, and then we're going to circle around and head down to Dunn, North Carolina. Dunn is like a 20 minute drive, so... Yeah, I'm gonna need some. I'm gonna need some gas money from y'all. I know that for sure. So uh, hopefully y'all like this video. Leave a comment down below after the video is over with. Did I say like this video already? Yeah. Subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe and let's go, y'all. Let's go hang out at the truck stop. I'm not gonna get no Starbucks today because I'm gonna try out this Lowe's coffee, and I'm gonna let y'all know if it's you know if it's up to my standards. Alright guys, so we made it here to the Sheets located off 95 exit 41 in Hope Mills, North Carolina, right around the Fayetteville area. Now this right here is just your ordinary Sheets just with added on truck parking. So of course there's no showers, of course there's no laundry, of course there's no truck allowance. This is just the Sheets with added on truck parking. All right, so we done made it over here to the sheets. See what they got going on in the inside. It's your regular old sheets. Not expensive. It would be nice if I could see a subscriber. That'll make my day. I like meeting y'all in person. Yeah, we about to drive over here to the truck party. Now the truck parking 
it was plenty of space like you got so much room in these spots like you can park close to the uh your driver line or the parking spot and if you look to your right or the passenger side like it's so much space then i think they got about 40 parking spots and it's so much space out here even if people created creative parking i don't think they would be in the way now it depends on how creative they get so yeah y'all this is a good area to park it's quiet it's nice and clean so y'all let's keep it clean This Loves is located right off 95 North Exit 77, store number 412. So currently, the date that I am recording this video, which is April the 8th, 2024, there is no direct access for 95 South because they're still doing construction on the bridge and the roads that would allow you access to the truck stop. So you will probably have to exit off and get on 95 North. So as y'all can see, I just arrived here at Love's and um, as soon as I was pulling in, I seen about three Prime trucks. Shout out to Prime. I'm getting ready to go in on the trucker side so I can see if the truckers get that welcome to Love's. Like that welcome to Love's, that counts. If y'all don't do welcome to Love's, I'm going down on y'all star reviews. So we're gonna go in on the trucker side and let's see. <music> so good out here y'all it feels like it feels weird being at like an actual truck stop truck stop like a love and not getting on an off a truck all right don't don't disappoint me then nobody said it nobody said it like it could be because they busy there's a few people up there in line so i'm gonna give them a chance to redeem themselves when i leave out to see if they say have a good day but yeah so far so good let's check out the bathrooms ladies to the left It's clean. The only restaurant they have is a subway. Excuse me. No, your usual choice of snacks. So they got a total of eight showers. I'm about to check in and get a shower just for y'all. So we can see how the showers look. $18 is the price. I know some places be like $17. See so if we can check in. Shower. Ooh, number one in line. They say it won't nobody in line. So I guess we have to wait around. It shouldn't be long. So if you're the type of person like me that loves to look at the reviews and the amenities of a truck stop on Trucker Path or Google, wherever you like to look at your reviews, 
Please keep in mind that majority of all the reviews were prior to the remodeling stage. But uh, they do have laundry. It looks like two washers and three dryers. It's small, so they do have laundry at least. I want to get my coffee, but I want to wait till after I go through the shower to get the coffee. Now, they do have a kitchen. I'm not sure if they're going to be serving other stuff. But this is the option of the salads, sandwiches. Salad is looking fresh so far. We'll see how far along in business do they stay looking fresh. But y'all see the prices that us truckers have to pay? $4.79 for a sandwich. $6.49 for a chicken wrap. $4.49 for this. And the salads is like basically seven dollars. This look like it may be good. Oh yeah. I promise y'all, I'm gonna open me a truck stop that's trucker friendly. Like, price is gonna be mad cheap for truckers. Like, look at this. There's no way this should be seven dollars and nine cent. And then this right here, you gotta buy two to get one for free. Or even this. $2 for this right here. Like, come on. I'm going to have me a place where I'm going to look out for truckers. It's like they get over on, on the truckers because they know, like, this is the most convenient place as a truck stop. Because we ain't allowed to park at so many other places. All right, so the shower is finally ready. Shower number three, pin 58788. I knew as soon as I was gonna be fixing my coffee. Hey, hey how you doing? It was gonna be ready. Why right, is somebody already in here? They got the door open already? But, yeah, here's the shower. Very wet. No mold yet. But yeah, thanks for shower. So we out of here. Oh, your YouTube version. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 245. Thank you. You need a receipt? No, ma'am. You have a good one. Me too. What's your YouTube name? Uh, Slime Pack. Yeah. Dash three. I'm about to look you up. Make sure you look me up now. I'm about to look you up. Thank you. I know a lot of people be lying whenever they say, oh, I'm about to look you up. Listen, if I don't see you pulling your phone out immediately, I'm going to just assume you lying. So here we are, the most important thing to a trucker for a truck stop. Well, one of the most important things. Um, if y'all missed it, whenever I first entered the truck parking area, it was an important detail. Each spot has a number, so it has me wondering, will this be one of the locations that will be participating in the fuel customers only program that I've been seeing on social media?
There are a total of 50 spots. All spots could easily be a straight back unless there is heavy traffic at the Fuel Island. Overall, I would say this would be a perfect place to park in the daytime. I'm not sure at night because y'all know that's a whole different story. But also, with this being in a small town, I can see that a lot of locals using this location to park their equipment. So, I can rate this truck stop, you know, uh, maybe an 8 out of 10 because of the, the small food selection. But if we take away the food selection, I can rate it a 10 out of 10. So, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. And hopefully this video will help some people out that don't know if y'all would like more videos like this let me know down below in the comment section so right now i am here at roadmaster where i got my license from i'm about to go speak to some of the instructors that i train with well we actually work with all the instructors out here and i know it's a lot of them still watch my videos so i'm gonna stop by and speak to them i wish i could get their reaction so y'all then y'all can hear what they had to say about me but I don't know. I wish I could record, but I can't. But they do still watch my videos, so hopefully y'all are watching this video. So this right here is it. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to use my phone so I can show y'all the pad over there. It looked like they doing offset. It looked like they doing the uh, blind side offset. That's what it looks like tell y'all something i do not miss these days see if i can find somebody that remember me i'm not sure if they got new people or not <laughs> he already speaking to me this was my favorite right here rob green so we tested out on all freight liners these the trailers they over there doing pre-trip y'all i went over there i was repeating some of the stuff that I had learned. I didn't want to put the uh, the instructors on camera. And whenever we tested out, we did have doubles. We didn't have the single tires. Y'all, this stuff looks so easy now. But whenever I was out here going to school, oh my goodness. Some days I'd be about to beat myself up. That over there is the test out pad. For some reason, we, the students that was attending, we felt like, okay, yeah, that side was different than this side. They say it won't, but we say it was. I'm getting ready to go in here and speak to the manager and then I'm headed home. So this right here is the outside where everybody have to meet. When we get here and when we leave to do roll call, this is the students entrance they got a classroom over there it's like the lobby that ain't always been there knock knock hey how you doing stretch how you doing good good i see you in the office yeah, it was fat of a tire. Big man. And so, hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. And hopefully this video will help some people no. out that don't. Um, Leave a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe. And I will see y'all on the next video.